Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, Princeton Trader, here with your Friday morning market webcast. Okay, so they traded as high as 4075 yesterday. They engaged the 50 day exponential moving average. Um, then you had China news, okay? Um, the China news doesn't look like much here on an hourly chart, but it gapped it down. Um, uh, 37 half, they got it as high as 35.75, so they didn't exactly fill this little Globex gap, but there it is. Um, and they've kind of steadily wound it down, traded as low as 17.75 um, in Globex. It was a decent Globex for us. I mean, it gapped down, um, it stopped us out of our longs, which was a bummer because those things were on their way. And um, we got long with a 15 risk marker at about 640. So there was, you know, there were handles to be pulled out of that. But at this point, we're kind of settling back into that area. We're trading at 2075. Um, uh, you get the hourly mid band at 2830. Uh, uh, volume weighted average price is at 25 and change. Our proprietary moving average is at 23 and change. So 23 to 29 is something that the bulls are really gonna have to get through. The bears, I don't want to be, I don't want to put too much on it, but I'm going to put too much on it. The Bears have got to use this piece of news to get back below 2900. We traded as low as 2775 this week. That was Tuesday. They've gone ahead and wound not quite 200 handles off of it into the close yesterday. If, if this news can't at least bring the Bears a test of 2900, I'm not sure what, if anything, is going to until we go ahead and take a look at the daily mid band, and that's up at 29.68. So you get, uh, you know, to the upside, you get the weekly pivot here at 58 and change. We'll have a new one uh, next week, obviously. Uh, 68 is your daily mid band. You can't see that here. Um, monthly's at 29.86, and that takes you, you know, back to the roundy at 3,000 and the pre FOMC price at 30.16. Not saying we have to do that. I'm saying the Bears have a real chance to not do that if they can take advantage of what they have been potentially given last night and at least put some doubt in the minds of everybody, including me, who's just coming in and buying every single dip and having a gigantic week. Um, so you see the daily pivot. It's at 1675. That needs to convert. You need to work on 2900 convert that and at least get back into the area where it was trading yesterday. I mean, yesterday, you know, we opened, um, you know, in the, in the 2880s and they went ahead and converted um, that area off the open. They pushed it down and with the AD as strong as it was, it basically turned into a little trend day that just drip, drip, drip to the upside. Very powerful, very easy to fight, very easy to hate, and very easy to just drag people up to highs like that. That's exactly what happened yesterday. Um, so, the Bulls hold 15, print 41, go do 58. Bears, convert 15, convert 2900, try to get back down into the 2800s and ideally close in the 2800s. All right, everybody, have a great weekend. Take care, come check out the room. You'll love what you find. Talk to you soon. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook, and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.